Jurgi, play us a song. Play us a song, Jurgi. That's a question I get asked over and over and over and over. And yes, I will be singing a song for you today with pleasure. But I would also like to share with you how it is that I choose what song, what melody, what tune, what chord progression I decide to play. And the guiding principle for my decision is called play what the music needs what the music needs, not what the person who's asking for music needs, not the song that everybody knows, not the hit, not the song that I need to play, not the song that I'm promoting on my social media or my latest release, but rather the song, the tune, the air that will make the music around us a little bit more beautiful. Now to understand what I mean, I have to explain to you that I believe that everything is music. Everything is music. Reality is vibrations, and music is just vibrations that are harmonious, that are in tune, that are in rhythm, that we find aesthetically pleasing. And so I'm very happy that I'm recording this talk here in Colombia, in the mountains, where we can hear crickets, where we can hear frogs, where we can hear birds, where we can hear my children in the background. And so if you're going to play what the music needs, First thing you need to do is listen. You need to listen and ask yourself, what can I contribute to this music to be a little bit more beautiful? If I'm going to intervene space, if I'm going to hold people's attention, what do I need to bring to make them feel a little bit better? What do I need to give them? What additional notes do I have to provide to elevate them a little bit? Now, this concept has two very interesting ramifications. The first one being that the moment that we start talking about what the music needs, we transcend the ego and individual desires. For example, if I was to say, what does architecture need? What does democracy need? What does, a, what does humanity need, right? We start thinking about ideas and we start elevating the discourse to a higher place. And I think that's very special. The second thing that occurs is that we start thinking about symbiosis of things that are already there. Not about me creating something new, but really understanding what I have to work with. And that is very beautiful because immediately it implies that I have to find a way of bringing harmony to what is. I have to try hard to really listen, to really analyze, to really focus, to bring a little bit more harmony, to take what already is and help it find its place with an additional note. And this, this works in the following way. There's a way of explaining it. So sing a note for me. Sing, oh, beautiful, oh, even the birds are reacting, see? And if you're a girl, you can sing, oh, or if you have a high voice, oh, oh. Now, it's true that there are frequencies that are good for you. But even more interesting than those healing frequencies people talk about sometimes is the relationship between frequencies and how they make us feel. So if you maintain that, oh. By adding one or two notes, your note starts to sound different. Your relationship to it changes. If I add other notes, it changes even more. So actually by adding certain sounds and by you not doing anything, you start changing the way that you perceive your own sound, the way that you find the sound, the place of your sound within a larger composition, okay? And so, if I'm to provide for you what the music needs, I need to think about where you are. If you're in TEDx or Alor, that means you're in, you're in Europe in February, it's a little bit cold, you're probably a little bit tired of lockdown and you could use with a little bit 
you could do with a little bit of positive Latin American warmth, which is exactly what I want to bring to you today. So if you take your to bring you was not the song on its own. It was the beautiful music of this place. And the curious thing is when you play music outside in the wilderness, in nature, to other people, we tend to sync up harmoniously, rhythmically. We come in tune. It's a documented process of synchronization. And so I honestly believe that right now, by using this technology, I'm sending you what you need most a little bit of Latin American warmth, a little bit of positivity, and a lot of these beautiful natural vibes. Spring will come again, spring will come. 